We need to at least try to pretend this is a normal show and get through our normal things. Before we do, I do just want to say again a huge, huge thank you to everybody that wrote the yes. hype train today. Called yes. the Quill Cannon already. Unbelievable. That was like the greatest half hour in streaming history right there. <laughs> yeah, if, if <laughs> people missed together. it, they missed they out, really dude. This missed is the out. That's why you, you got they don't to do see anything this like this on Twitch. No, Twitch is not ready for all of this shit. Not ready for this shit at all. God damn. All right. Let's at least try to pretend we got a normal show going on here today. Okay. All right. Let's, we got, let's, we let's got go stuff to, to talk about. Yeah. Let's go to the screens. We'll do another story. Wisconsin asks unemployed residents to return $300 in jobless aid if Congress passes new relief bill. So uh, those people that got that uh, extra $600 a month on employment, on unemployment, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. And we were kind of like, uh, well, that seems a little bit shady. Like they're going to ask for it back. Well, they're asking for it back. If Congress passes are. a second relief bill, some of these places are going to try to start asking for the money back. And Wisconsin may be the first, but they're not going to be the only one. And I only say this to reiterate something I told you last week. IRS is going to get their money. They're going to do whatever they have to do to get your fucking dollar, man. No doubt. Don't believe me? Look at this shit. The IRS offers a $625,000 bounty to anybody who can break Monero and Lightning. They're coming for your fucking crypto, friends. Holy shit. The IRS shit. is literally offering a bounty on people that can hack crypto so that they can tax it. No more fucking Holy privacy shit. in your crypto. Yep, I told you. I told you the IRS going to get that money no matter what they have to do. That's the biggest mob, or mob organization on the planet. You're not lying. No that's lies the, detected, that's, man. That's the protection money scheme on a level nobody else on earth is capable of, dude. And look at this right here. They're going to get that money. That's why they I say that money. at least make them spend it on what we want them to spend it on. And you already know what that is. Bombs, bombs and, schools, and schools, baby. baby bombs, bombs and schools. schools. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. God damn. Yes. Fucking IRS, man. I, what can you do, though, dude? You know, that's it's fighting City Hall, which is tough. I'm not saying it can't be done, but it ain't easy, friends. It ain't easy. That's right. I'm just saying they've had your hand in your, in your their hand in your pocket since day one on, on all of us, on every single one of us out here. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Income tax, baby. Yeah. They're, they're getting their dollars. Oh, boy. Uh, you know how businesses have to be registered? You have to have a thing called a tax ID, otherwise known as an EIN, employer identification number, right? And that basically yep. registers your business with the government so that you have a numerical value assigned to you there. You know what they ask for if you don't have one of those? Your social security number. Why do you think really? they give you a social security number? Because they need to assign you a numerical value through which they can more easily tax you. These motherfuckers had their hand in your pocket since day one, friends. Uh -huh. day since for one. as long as you've had a social security number. And hey, Gasly, at least yeah. you're protected. You don't have one anymore. Uh, no, I wouldn't call that being protected, but I do know what you mean. I do know <laughs> what you mean, my man. You're no longer under their thumb, man. Yeah, to a degree. Unfortunate, unfortunately, you you run a business that is. So. Uh, yeah, that, that, that does make it a little more difficult. I'm not you know? a criminal. I'm I feel pretty good about going to Poundtown, I guess. <laughs> Damn it, you stole it. I was going to say that later. You're going to take the Poundtown joke. I'm sorry. It was right there. Yeah. Well, I guess wait a minute. Go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What's going on? That? Do you hear that? The hype train is pulled into Gold City Station. 